Viene esa piala. O sea, si va en los papas, like me, it like va cute, mar, check on view. Last time we picked up our Patreon John from Santa Cruz, the capital of Tenerife, and we even had time to watch a bit of Spanish dancing. Okay, 11.20 at night. We are leaving Santa Cruz on Tenerife. We had an awesome stay here in the marina. Lovely marina. And we're on our way to Lanzarote, which is probably going to take us about 15 hours. Passing this monster oil rig. Looks like an oil rig. And next to that is the auditorium that we never got to visit. Which is a real pity. This time, <laughs> disaster strikes. We share with you our epic life raft failure. This is Captain Frick and his first mate, Petrus. We decided to chuck everything, leave the rat race and just embark on a new adventure. And that is our new home, Sisu. Join us on our epic journey as we sail the oceans, discovering new horizons, new cultures, new tastes, new flavors, new everything. It's just such a vast, vast world to explore out there. So please join us in our quest. It always happens at night. And onderbreek my slow. <laughs> oh man, and it happened. Three o'clock in the morning on my watch. We have explained to you what happened with this flashing light chasing us anyway. So the life raft lock dislodged itself with our Patreon on board. And those like green yellow things there are, the sea anchors, they were full of water. 
Thank goodness Jean was there to help try and pick this thing up out of the water and empty it out and to get it back onto Sisu. But that was a hectic ordeal. ordeal. The, the sea was not happy. It was a 15 hour journey or was supposed to take us 15 hours and it landed up taking us 36 hours to get to Lanzarote. It was hectic seas. You might recall in a CISU spec walkthrough that we've done that I said uh, uh, we've got two lines for the, for the life raft, two quick release buttons because uh, one single quick release is it's pretty dangerous, especially if it's on the outside. Out together by two, two lines. This one line I can just pull here and it will open up and then it will release and that one just pull here and it will open up and it will release. Then it will fall over. We will not lose it, but we will <laughs> deploy it. Um, and I don't think I can put it back. It's one of those genies that comes out of the bottle and cannot be put back. The genie got out of the bottle one night. So what we expect is that, or suspect is that the pex was getting deflated and the shackles was there. Because the shackles was mounted here, the, I think Tepex was actually rubbing onto the onto the quick release lines, and then actually pulled the quick release lines, both of them, and that made this one to fall off. So for a temporary measure, what I did is I moved the quick releases to the side so it cannot easily rub, but also I moved this one to the top, so again Tepex cannot easily easily touch. But I also installed this system here, and this system is, I can now then pull Tepex up, and then Tepex will also not be uh, chafing against the uh, life raft. The real situation, or ideal situation would be to put a steel bracket here, but I'm still investigating that, because if there's a steel bracket and it's get jammed, how will it? How can you? How can you release the life raft if there's, for example, is the stainless steel is rusted or something happens there, or you have a lock or how do you how do you close it? So I'm still looking at that. Lanzarote, here we come! Our first stop on the island Lanzarote was right in the south. It was Marina Rubicon. We stayed on anchor and in the marina there. That marina is just amazing. There is just so much to do. There is entertainment every single day. Live entertainment. The reception area is brilliant. The service is brilliant. There's an awesome chandlery there. That you can find anything possible there. They've got these huge long esplanades along the co the beaches as well that's just got one place on top of the other so it's really a vacay paradise. Awesome place, highly recommended, both Anchorage and Marina. Hello. I need to get.
Okay, and then there's the flagship bar. We, we met so many people there that eventually came out sailing with us. It was, it is just an amazing pub with an absolutely amazing owner, the guy that sings as well. And you just meet wonderful people there. Highly, highly recommend it. This stuff is happening here again, regardless of the big ones. Where's that guy? Oh, there he is. inside the marina every evening lining up for parking I guess you're gonna have to wait mate
Next time, we rented a car and went road tripping, exploring Tenerife, and even had some chicken that was dried, the South African style, on top of the volcano. This is our fifth can, um, Canarian island, and this is part four, the best. <laughs> I've got a cameraman that's zoned out completely.